guys what's up welcome back to the channel welcome back to a new video this video I'm actually going to be doing the drying process of the car um, this is part three of the video series uh, you know at first I went over washing wheels I went over actually washing the car uh, and this step is the actual drying process which most of you are interested in um, what I do is a couple different steps actually I don't just start taking a towel and wiping it down uh, first I try to get as much water much of the residual water off of the car as possible uh, I, I just washed the car, so now it's obviously the next step to actual drying process. So I figured I would set the camera up, record it, show you exactly what I do just to minimize the amount of swirling and scratches that can possibly happen. Because believe it or not, uh, scratching uh, and swirls and everything happens most when people dry because they don't understand the, the proper techniques to get this done. Uh, so doing the right techniques and knowing what you're doing will absolutely uh, reduce the amount of swirls and scratching and it will prolong uh, the longevity of your protection and overall the, the want or the will to actually uh, have to paint correct. Obviously you want to paint correct as least amount as possible just because you're obviously, you know, when you paint correct, you actually are removing a small layer of clear coat. So uh, doing it as less as possible is the ideal, you know, way. You don't want to do it that, that much. So being able to minimize swirling and scratching and all that uh, is definitely important and it's it's really also important to practice these techniques during your washing process because it just helps everything. It makes it, it keeps the car looking good uh, and it's just less work for you. Although it does seem like more work, you know, washing the car more often, uh, I promise you it's way, it's so much more worth it when the car is properly protected and cared for. The washing, you know, procedure is so much easier just because you're not, um, you know, having to scrub the paint, the water just kind of falls off uh, and it's so much easier, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, you know, right now you can see the, kind of see the, uh, the water just kind of sitting there. Let me get you a little bit of a close up. All right, so as you can see, just the water, the residual water after the, 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 the first rinse, basically, um, uh, after the wash is still there. So, you know, the, the water is beating really, really well, especially you'll see it in a sec. Uh, so there's really no need to actually correct the paint currently. Uh, I, I do plan on doing a whole detail series eventually. Um, but there's really no 100% need to actual detail the paint or correct the paint at this moment. Uh, but for now, uh, it's just a basic wash, you know, maintenance wash, what I normally do pretty much once a week if I have the time. Um, and this is just the procedure that I do. So if you are interested in seeing the, the, two, the first two steps that I do prior to this, I'll also link them up in the top right corner for you guys if you are interested in that. Uh, but today we're going, like I said, we're going to go over the drying process. Uh, you know, sorry, I'm trying not to get too wordy here. I'm just trying to keep, get to the point. Uh, but... As you can see, there's residual water sitting on the paint. I don't want to just, you know, it take 15 towels to dry this off. Uh, I know there's other to there's towels out there that can basically dry the whole car in one swoop. Uh, but I, what I want to do is basically minimize the amount of towels and, and wiping that I'm actually doing on the paint. Uh, you know, less contact is better. Uh, so the first step I'm actually going to do, it's, it's a process called sheeting. What I do to dry the car quickly before I go over, you know, actually in detail, the first step is something called sheeting. Um, the second step, I actually take a leaf blower and blow off the car, all the cracks, all the crevices and everything, get all the residual water and sitting in all the cracks and door handles out of the car. And then I actually wipe down the car with, with a product. Uh, you can do all three of these, or you can just do two. I recommend at least doing two of these, uh, just to get as much water off the car. I do all three just because it's, it's Subaru paint. It's really soft. It scratches easily. It swirls easily. So I try to do as much as possible, uh, to make as least amount of contact on the paint when drying the car. Uh, so the first step, like I said, is called sheeting. This process, which I'll go over here and show you quickly before I actually do it, um, you literally just take your hose. You just want, you don't want any attachments on the hose. You just want, you know, an open flow, um, you know, attachment won't work or nozzle or anything like that. You want an open hose uh, ending. I just have, this is my quick, quick disconnect that I can put a, a, you know, a nozzle on there or I just connect it over here to my power washer. Uh, but you want something like this. I have an on and off lever here. Uh, all the stuff you can find below, down below in the description if you are interested in getting this set up. Uh, but you want something that you can turn on and off, uh, or you can just bend the hose, but I don't recommend doing that because it's just going to kink uh, and it's going to you know, end up ruining your hose. So this is a process called sheeting. Basically, you're going to spray a, you know, a sheet of water over a big panel of the car, and it's basically going to remove all the residual water at once. You'll be amazed. Uh, this, again, this only really works if your car is, is well protected. Um, it's well cared for. You know, if this is your first time washing your car in a year, it's not going to work this well. Uh, so I highly suggest, um, 
you know, before you, you dismiss this, this technique uh, to make sure your car is properly protected. So let me get the camera set up and I'll show you just how well this actually works. So I got the camera set up and as you can see on the hood, this is probably the easiest way to see it. Um, but there's a bunch of, you know, water droplets on the car. And what you want to do is you just want to take your, your whatever hose that you have, um, this is just my setup as I explained. I'm just gonna turn it on. I'm just basically gonna sheet. I mean, it's so, once you see it actually happen, it's very self-explanatory. You're just gonna kind of graze the water over it and you're just gonna see all this water kind of disappear. So let me turn the hose on and show you exactly how it's done. See, I got a, I got a good flow there. You just wanna sheet the water. And as you can see, basically all the water uh, is off the car. Um, and doing this, it just basically, it basically dries the car with water, which is kind of like an oxymoron, but it works. Um, you know, I go around and do the entire car like that. I'll show you just kind of quickly a few steps. Let me show that again so you get a better idea. You want to, you know, you want the hose all the way open. Just kind of push the water around. And you can watch it just completely sheet off. I mean, obviously there's going to be a few residual drops, um, you know, but you can just take care of that. Like that but as i said this only works if your car is properly cared for properly protected uh, if you don't have any wax on it or any protection it's not going to sheet as well it'll still help but it won't be as it won't be this effective um, so it, this is just a great technique if you don't have a leaf blower and you just have a hose um, this is such a good technique to practice and it really really helps So as you can see on the side of the car, I'm actually holding the hose um, perpendicular to the car. You don't want to spray it at it because that's not going to do anything. You want to just kind of let the water sheet exactly what it's called. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory as you're seeing this. All right, so now that we got basically most of the water off, you know, there's just some bigger droplets on the car. Um, and, you know, I don't want to sit here and dry this off basically uh, with a towel. The next step with the least amount of contact to the paint is using a leaf blower. You can basically use anything you want. Uh, you can use a gas powered, you can use you know something really expensive. Uh, but what I use is a Greenworks, uh, I don't even know the name of this. It's just a Greenworks electric leaf blower. Uh, it's not very strong for the you know using it for your lawn or something like that. Uh, but it's great for washing cars. It's it's you know I use this actually to blow the the garage out and stuff once in a while. Um, and it's really, really helpful. And it's, and it's battery powered, so all you gotta do is just charge up the battery, uh, and it works really, really well. There's really nice Ego blowers that are you know, a couple hundred dollars. This, I believe, at the time I got it uh, was around 90 bucks. Uh, I, have a, I have a link below if you guys are interested in getting this. I don't know what the price is currently, but it's probably around there. Uh, you can probably find a cheaper one, honestly. I recommend any, anyone, uh, but this one has just been working for me for the past four years, um, and it's, it's worked great. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the car, blow all the residual water off, get in all the cracks, the door handles, you know, and the mirrors, just to make sure there's no sitting water in the cracks because there's nothing worse than having a clean car uh, and then, you know, constantly have them coming around and wipe up the drips coming from the mirror, from the doors, the door handles and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, getting rid of all the water that you possibly can uh, is, is the best way to do it. Also, the worst thing that I, I absolutely can't stand is when I am uh, driving and you know water starting to come out of the mirrors or the cracks and it gets all over the windows all over your clean cars so uh, doing this kind of eliminates that and it really helps with you know water spotting water that leaks out when you're driving is going to sit on the car you know especially if you're you're in a rush or something and you park and you have to get out and you can't wipe it off uh, it's going to leave water spots so getting getting all the water out of the cracks and the hood and all that and the wheels uh, it just helps also with the water spotting so i'm going to go around the car blow it off there's not really anything scientific to it uh, simply just <laughs> blowing off the car but getting all the water off as much as you possibly can I you know you're not going to get it completely dry and you don't want it completely dry and I'll explain exactly why uh, I don't want it completely dry in the next step uh, but you want to get it mostly dry and like I said get in all the, the crevices and all that so let me blow the car off and then we'll jump to the next step <laughs> All right, so I got the car blown off. Uh, it's pretty much dry, but as you'll see, there's some residual uh, water sitting on there, which is, as I said, is what you want. 
Uh, the, this next step, uh, you can use pretty much any product you want, um, but it's good to use some type of you know drying aid or protectant or you know kind of a spray wax something, just to give some you know lubricity on the actual towel that you're using. And keeping the the, the paint a little wet. Uh, kind of dampens up the microfiber and it allows it to go on much smoother and better uh, and also reduces scratching because it, it has you know a, a barrier basically from uh, the towel to the actual paint um, and I leave it a little bit wet um, and it just it seems to work that way the product that I used I bounced around over the years of different products but the one that I landed on that I absolutely love the most it's called bead maker. I'm sure most people or most detailers or anybody that is interested in, in washing cars has heard of this product called bead maker. It's by a company called PNS. Um, they're, they have a lot of different products, but my favorite one that they have is bead maker, uh, mainly because it just, the overall durability of this stuff, uh, the way it, it just works on the paint um, and the, you know, obviously the hydrophobic properties of it is amazing. Uh, it is such a great product. I will probably always have this in my arsenal. I will never not probably have it unless there's something better that comes out. Uh, but it's been many, many years. I've tried a lot of different things and nothing has touched this. Uh, some say that it can, um, it, it attracts dust a little bit more. Uh, so your car will be dirtier, or I don't say dirtier, but dustier after your fir first drive or two. Um, but I I've noticed that, but it's not really that bad. It blows right off. Um, and you know, by that time I'm ready for a wash anyway, so it doesn't really bother me, but this stuff is really good. I highly recommend it. Um, all, you, it's literally just, you know, there's no complexity to it. Uh, it's you literally just spray it on and wipe it off. And the best way to activate it, you can either do this when it's dry or wet. I prefer it when it's a little wet, as I showed you on the car, there's a little bit of uh, residual water from the wash. Um, it just happened. It just works better for me that way. Um, and basically you just got to spray it on wipe it off and then I use a second towel to do like the final wipe so it gets so it doesn't leave any streaks. So these are my drying towels, my bead maker towels as I call them. Uh, Matt from Obsessed Garage sell these. You can get them from his website. I have it linked below. Uh, just click on that and you can go into the microfiber section and it's in the drying section on the website. Uh, these things are great. Uh, it's you know it's not a really thick pile but it's a, more of an in-between and I found it to work really well. Oh, he has found it to work really, really, really well with Beadmaker. Uh, and I just, you know, I was like, hey, let me try them out. And I love them. Um, he also had a, a previous drying towel that he used, which was a blue one. And I have them actually in my, uh, my cabinet over here. Uh, but I happen to like these better. Um, over time, using Beadmaker will actually make towel, the towels hydrophobic. So they don't work um, as well as they normally do. I mean, they'll work, but, um, you know, not as great as they can. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's multiple, multiple, multiple washes. You probably have a solid year to, uh, you know, depending how much you wash to a year, uh, two years uh, of use with the towel. So it's not like you have to get these every, you know, couple of weeks, uh, but it is a disposable, you know, thing that, that you end up just using it as like a spare towel or, you know, a, a crappy towel or something. Um, so eventually you'll notice these will kind of start to kind of just push the water around as opposed to actually picking it up. But either way, uh, I've had these for a year now and they're still drying the car really, really well. Uh, you know, there's no, there's no weirdness going on or anything like that. But as you can see, I got two towels. One is going to be the actual applying towel and this one's going to be the drying. Uh, I just leave that one over my shoulder and then I just follow up. Uh, so let's get to actually spraying it down and showing you how to apply this. All right. So we're going to work on the hood here. Uh, I got my bead maker, my towel. I'm simply just going to spray it on. You can actually end up spraying the whole entire car, uh, but I just do a panel at a time just so I don't get, you know, I'm not rushing or anything. Uh, and also a really good thing to do is actually take your towel and spray it first, just a couple sprays just to get it a little damp. Um, then you're simply just gonna wipe it down. Um, as you notice, there's still kind of some, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's just some streaking with the first pass just cause you're spreading the apple actual product around. Um, So once it's pretty, pretty dry and you got the product spread around, you're just gonna come back up with your, your second towel and just follow up just to get any remaining water. So as you can see, it's a very simple process. It's literally just drying the car, but you have some, yeah, you, know, you have something between the paint and the towel, uh, and it's also protecting the paint too. So by doing that, um, it just prolongs your protection on the car, whether you have a ceramic coating 
or you know just a wax seal it in a wax or something like that uh, or if you don't have anything at all and you're just doing like a quick detail and you just want to get something on the car uh, just using bead maker alone is amazing so i can literally i literally use this on every single part of the car windows uh, wheels paint um, and it does a great job it actually i don't have any uh, coating on the windows or anything uh, i just use bead maker and it does an amazing job <laughs> um, the actual uh, you know the water just runs off when you're on the highway or something doing you know like 65 70 whatever uh, it just shoots right off and I actually don't even need to use my wipers most of the time so as I said you know just doing it on the windows going around I use it on the door jams I, I literally everything uh, I actually <laughs> use bead maker inside the house on uh, my stainless steel appliances um, it does a great job actually cleaning it up and it puts a layer of protection on it so uh, you know the fingerprinting and all that stuff it's it's it really helps um, I used to use I was like an actual stainless steel cleaner but I found I ran out one day and I was like hey, let me just try a bead maker um, and it's awesome <laughs> you know any water or anything that gets on it just kind of uh, you know just runs right off and it just helps minimize the amount of um, you know smudges and fingerprints and everything like that it, it does a great job so this stuff is just you can tell why I love it so much because I use it literally all around the house I use it on my car and it's just one of my favorite things is just a product that works you know it works as advertised just having something that actually does what it's supposed to do you know not just look good for like a day and then it's then it just is not working right or fails um, you know I've tried I've tried it pretty much everything you possibly can um, one of my favorites that I or one of them that I used to use a lot is uh, Adam's H2O or H2Go, whatever it's called. Uh, that stuff's really, really nice. I like that a lot, but it doesn't last at all. Um, you know, it'll last like maybe a week, uh, but there's times when I don't wash the car for like a month, uh, especially in the winter. And, you know, the car will be dirty, obviously, but the, the, the water still beads like crazy. Um, and I really owe it to that, to the PNS or the bead maker, uh, just because it, it really just, does a great job. Um, I've used everything. I've used Gion wet coat, which absolutely stinks. Uh, I use that. It, it has some great properties, you know, hydrophobic properties, uh, but it just really doesn't um, hold up. So, and if you guys are wondering, I don't have this car ceramic coated yet. I've never done it on this car yet. Uh, I'm simply just using Jess Car Power Lock uh, and uh, Colonite 845. Um, last detail I did was about was over a year ago uh, so it's been quite a while and as you can see my paint is in pretty decent condition there's some swirling in a few spots but it's really it's not bad at all um, so when I do detail the car it's gonna be basically like a jeweling uh, it's gonna be like a simple you know it's not gonna be like a major paint correction because it doesn't need it uh, but I owe that a lot to PNS bead maker it simply just does the job and it keeps it clean um, you know and, and with all the carbon fiber bits that I have on the car uh, it, I put you know obviously right on that as well and it holds up so well I just I love this stuff so much I'm not a uh, you know I'm not a product affiliate or anybody for PNS it's simply I'm just a consumer that just loves this product and I'm sure anyone any of you guys that actually use it too would love it. And the great thing about it is I believe that gallon is about 35 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. Um, and I have it for quite a while. Um, so it's, it's relatively cheap. It's not like you're gonna, I know Adam's uh, H2Go or H2 Gloss and Go, I forget what it's called, H Gloss and Go, whatever. Uh, that stuff was like, I wanna say it's like almost like $90 for a gallon. Uh, and it doesn't look as good. It doesn't last as long as this. Um, this PNS is just a great, great product. Uh, so I'm going to go around, finish up the paint, the door jams, the wheels. Uh, you know, I think, I've, I think you guys got the point of how to apply this product. That's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, such a good, good product. I mean, you can, you see all my photos, you guys follow me on Instagram and stuff. And even on the videos, um, just the paint, just it's, it's so deep and it's really just from bead maker. 
uh, the colonite and everything obviously really does help but I haven't put on any colonite I haven't just uh, power lock I haven't put on uh, in over a year I think last time I did it was in May of 2019 um, and so it's been over a year and it still looks this good uh, I put on colonite maybe one or two applications of colonite over the course of the year um, you know just not because I really needed it but because I was just you know the car was clean and I was bored and I just wanted to you know wax the car um, so really didn't need it it's not like it was failing at all or anything uh, but it's a great great cheap alternative if you don't uh, you know want to ceramic coat your car uh, keep in mind I am going to ceramic coat this at some point when I get the motivation to detail it and actually paint correct it which you know won't take long because like I said the paint's in good shape and it really doesn't need it um, but there's a few spots that I would like to touch so I will ceramic coat it then depending on how the paint actually comes out if I'm really happy with it I'll do it um, but that's gonna be a whole other video series uh, so let me finish this up I'm just blabbering on too much about how much I like this stuff um, and then uh, we'll go over quickly you know a couple steps that I do to dry the car and then we'll wrap up the video So yeah guys that's it for this video thanks for watching thanks for tuning in if you guys have any questions be sure to ask them below every product that i use you can get in the links in the descriptions below uh, if you can't find it just let me know i'll send it to you no problem uh, but yeah that's pretty much my process well that is my process that i use uh, every single time i wash the car uh, and it has greatly reduced the amount of swirling and scratches and it keeps the paint in really great condition uh, a lot of people always ask me why my how I keep my paint so clean and the drying process is definitely um, you know one of the things that really helps keep the paint looking this good uh, so once again if you guys have any questions be sure to ask them below be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video